Hey everybody, welcome back to Minor Stuff. I'm Matt. I'm Pat. We're, we're the Minor, Minor Brothers. Brothers. Today we're going over our top five bourbons for cocktails. Let's get into it. All right, welcome back everybody. Thank you so much for dropping by and checking out our channel. Please subscribe to this uh, channel, like this video, drop some comments down below. What do you like to use as a mixer for your cocktails? Um, we are going to be getting into doing more cocktails this year. Uh, we just did a review on the Bar Sis Coaster, um, so we're going to be playing with that a whole lot more, making other drinks outside of the bourbon area um, as well. Drinks. Yeah, yeah he's, he's a big tinky, tiki guy. So we're going to be doing that, um, but what do you want to use when you're making that cocktail? So these are our top five picks. Uh, Matt, why don't you kick us off? All right. So the very first one, and I'm going to do two honorable mentions first. Evan Williams Bottled and Bond, the white label. Yep. Or Wild Turkey 101. I think both of those, or even Old Granddad Bonded. I think those all were great, but they just didn't make our list of choices. Yep. So the very first one. Early times, bottled and bond. This is hard. We can't get it up here. We had to have this shipped up. Um, um, thankfully, Miguel down in Texas hooked us up. Um, but it's one of those things. You have the best subscribers, man. I know, absolutely do. Um, it's, it's, it's a great, it's a great bourbon to sip on. It's a great bourbon to mix. Um, so absolutely. this definitely made it hundred proof. So it'll hold up against, you know, diluting it down a little bit. But it's it's a really good, really good drink. Yeah. So I'm gonna start with a fantastic one, Buffalo Trace. Uh, I know people are going to say, well, you can't get it everywhere. We've been able to find this pretty regularly up where we are now. I mean, it was, it's you had to fight for it. Shelf, yeah, yeah, now it's almost always on the shelf. I was at the liquor store the other day, and there was a whole shelf full of it. Um, so it's definitely getting out there more. 90 proof, which is, you know, not too proofy, so it's good for somebody who doesn't want to be overpowered, doesn't want too much burn. Um, so you will lose a little bit with the mix. You know, if that's a problem for you, then you got to think about that. Uh, but... I think it's a smooth one. It's what got me into bourbon. I absolutely love it. I think it's a fantastic. It's a great thing. well bourbon. Yeah. You know what I mean? You think about a, a well in a bar, that's a great one to have in there. It's going to be good for neat sipping and cocktails. Yep. Just like this little guy. Uh, one of our favorites. A rare breed. You know what? The 116 proof, it's great to mix because you still have a lot of proof behind it. Um, but, you know, this is one of the classic bourbon notes. This is great for old fashions. This is great for a lot of other bourbon cocktails. But if you just want to have a neat sipper or something on the rocks, this is going to be a choice too to, to easily win. Yep. Um, and one of our favorites, and it's won tons of blinds that we've done. Oh, yeah. And it, it really, we've done a lot of cocktails with this too. Yep. All right. Next up, Old Granddad 114. Uh, this way we're getting that proof again that you want, and it's just a fantastic mixer. Um, it's got a little bit it, more of the rye spice in it, gives yep. you a little bit more oomph behind your taste. You definitely lose, especially with like soda, sometimes you can really lose a lot of that. And this punches through that as well. Um, I haven't used this too much in two other many cocktails, true cocktails. As I said, we don't do a lot of cocktails yet. Usually it's just old fashions if we're doing them. Yep, but definitely another great one. And it's so affordable. I mean, it's perfect. You don't want to be dumping something too, too expensive yeah. into... So the next one, Pat, we made by far, hands down, the best old fashioned that we've made so far using this one. Oh, it was yes. a dream. Bullet rye. And you can put a lot of ryes in. Ryes are great for cocktail mixers and stuff. This one, we used this with the Elijah Craig pre made old fashioned syrup. Yep. By far, hands down, the best old fashioned we've ever made. Yep. And Abs we just, I can't even find the Elijah Craig syrup anymore because I want to find some more to buy it just to do more. Yeah, just to literally take a whole bottle of this. Bottle yep. Doing that. Oh, um, so good. But yeah, you can't have a cocktail mixer without a rye. The rye spice is good, and even having a little bit higher proof stuff like that is good. But this one is just, it's a great mixer. Um, yeah. it, it's, it's, you know, it's it's a always on the shelf, always available. Yep. Pretty affordable. It's pretty, it's, yeah, extremely affordable. You can't really go wrong with it. So, um... Those are our top five cocktail bourbons. Let us know down in the comments what do you guys use for yours. Uh, thank you so much for following us along, and everybody have a good day.